10 or 12. I never took classes, a little acting classes or anything like that. I just went on. And uh, we have a young man by the name of Jeff Allen Lee. Jeff Allen Lee. Jeff Allen Lee. Oh, you teach little oh, kids. You teach little kids yes, they teach acting. Method, little kids. method acting. That I means actor listen. studio type actor of thing. Actor studio type of thing. Why? Yes. Why actor studio? Because Why not Jeff Lee's? Well, that is. It's all my stuff mix, mixed in. Oh, you in. mixed it up? It's okay. very special. Now, it's Jeff Lee, special you work. are I actually from New York or is it grew up yeah, in New York? Detroit. Detroit. Michigan. I started in Detroit age nine age as a child nine. actor. Right. Had my own series. And a special. You mean you had your own series? Back up. What do you mean you had your own series in Detroit? Mm -hmm. Like Pinky Lee? Like Pinky Lee. Did it was really? Jerry in the Circus. I played a little orphan who ran away from the orphanage and uh, starts and becomes friends with this family. And it was a weekly series that was uh -huh. on every week. In Detroit? In Detroit, Michigan. Oh, it must have been fun. It was wonderful. When did you go to New I York? I was like a little more. Well, we flew Broadway. back and forth to New York. Um, and then I moved there, went to NYU. Uh -huh. And I performed off Broadway in uh, Losing It, which was a three character play directed by. Andy Cadiff from Home right, Improvement, right. and I did movies. I did a lead with Andrew McCarthy, mm -hmm. and that's why I started the teaching thing. When my very first job out, I, I started as a child actor, and I was very right. cutesy and wonderful. Like but Robert my, Morris, but you're my very, cutesiness got lost. You're very much Robert Morris, you know. Oh, so Bobby Morris succeed. Did you ever not, do that flirt? Not yet. You haven't. I'm going to produce it if I don't do it soon. <laughs> Did you see Robert Morris in True? He was absolutely yes, wonderful. It was one of the best performances of American acting. Who's one of your favorite really people? Great. That musical comedy. Do you have a favorite? No, I love them all. You I mean, I love Bobby Morris. I love. Uh, Tell me about Nathan Lane. Class actor. Yeah, there. Nathan, uh, Nathan, Lane. Nathan that, that play is in town right now right. at the um, Pantages Theater. I know. Theater. I want to see it. And that producers. Right. Oh, I'm glad Nathan Lane is not in it. Uh, Jer oh, you know who's in it? No. Who's, who's doing Nathan Lane's part? Uh, right now? Jason Alexander. Better, better. Yes, he's wonderful. Yes, he's wonderful. And uh, the little, the little guy from uh, Martin Short. Jiminy Glick. Hey, Jiminy Glick. Martin Short is in it. Yes. Martin Short. Yes. I love Martin Short. Yes. He's Canadian. He's absolutely right. brilliant. Right. Now tell me, Jeff Allen Lee, uh, working uh, as a little kid growing up, right. fun. Well, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience, but the work wasn't taught to kids. So what happens, this isn't taught anywhere, this right. type of work that I do. So the kids are very, what happens is they become very mechanical and they go through the Hollywood whirlwind thing and they come out the other side and, and they're 17 and they're no longer acting because right. they were trained incorrectly, if they start really, really young, which is what happened to me. And I luckily went to NYU and right. started uh, acting professionally, and, but I went, I went to a real conservatory program and discovered Stanislavski and fell in love with it mm -hmm. and started teaching it at parochial schools. And the nuns saw God and had me working at all Wasn't these different it's schools. The parochial schools? They were very uptight, but once you started them going, they, they were it. unbelievable. Yeah. The kids, and then, are, kids are fun, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're incredible. Yeah, they're, they're great. Really and they really do the real stuff. Uh -huh. You know, and that, that was the thing. What do you mean thing. by the real stuff? Well, they really will go there uh -huh. where Take you chances. want them to go. They'll take yeah. the risks that uh -huh. they want them to uh -huh. do. And you can get them very real and very personal, which is very exciting. So how many, how so many uh, you have many students. Yeah, well, that's why I started this. I started, and then I taught at Lee Strasberg in New York and L.A. You taught here at Lee Strasberg Institute? Yeah, out here. On and also Santa Monica Boulevard yeah. in West Hollywood? Yeah, I was part of the, as the director of the Young People's uh -huh. Program for the the teens and the younger kids right. in New York and then came out here in L.A. Uh -huh. and acted and did that stuff. We're all in the trenches with the kids. New York is the place, though. New York it? is. Isn't it fun? But I like L.A. I like the beach. Oh, oh so you're like a, the ocean. a boy who's from Detroit, loves the sun. Is that Loves it? the sun. Okay, okay. And loves the city and loves you the world. You know Amsterdam. Uh, have you ever been to Amsterdam? No. Oh, this gentleman next to you. My yeah. God, one of my favorite, Tim Harmony. He's the world champion harmonica player. Number one in the world, and I'm telling you, he's absolutely wonderful. How are you? Come over here, Tim. Talk to me out of that light. That's my boy. How are you doing? Great. Thank Tim you. Harmony yeah. from Amsterdam, growing up in Amsterdam. When and what age did you pick up that harmonica? Uh, well, I started the blues harp as a kid uh -huh. and uh, piano from very young. So you were a musician all the time? You yeah, I first uh, see my professional and, you uh -huh. know, starting in school bands as a singer, harmonica player. So you sing too, I, I didn't did. know that. I did, but uh, there are so many great singers, I, I stick to the harmonica now. Uh -huh. Growing up in Amsterdam, yeah. free and world, free speech, free oh everything, yeah. I love it. Everything is so <laughs> Very free. Liberal, only liberal. America could only be, they say they're free, it's not as free. Amsterdam's free, yes. am I right? It still is, yeah. It's a great place. It's very peaceful. People are just 
lovable. Yeah. They let they don't care. Come see, come sa, hey, you know, yeah. what Well, that's you more are. French, but okay. <laughs> I, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Am I right? It's, it's uh, a wonderful place to go. It's very tolerant. Up. I would say tolerant is the main that's word. That's a good word, tolerant. Yeah, I think so. You have a park there, though. It's kind of shocking. The park is called, like, Needle Park in New York. It's all the drugs. That park in Amsterdam. Fumble Park? That's correct. What is that park all What do you about? mean it's all the drugs? Well, it's a lot of drugs there, all the drug addicts, and they all go to that certain park in Amsterdam. Mm. Well, you know you, more than me. You didn't know that? Well, that's a bad reputation. <laughs> that, that's, no, that's... What are you going to play for us today? You got uh, something you're going to play yeah, for us today? Yeah, I got uh, cover a couple of things, different things. Yeah. I'd love to hear it. Jeff, you're going to love him. He's going to play something right now. Play for me. And Tim Harmony. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Michel Fugain, he's a French uh, singer and composer. Right. And he did a television uh, song, Belle and Sébastien, that uh -huh. was a very long uh, series about a little boy and a, and a dog. Uh -huh. And uh, this call is, uh, is called Sébastien. Oui. And it's a, like French romantic song. Okay. okay. I'll put away my box. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> She'll hit it. Very interesting. You know, the French, Michel, of course. The French, 
The French have such dramatics about them. They yeah. really do. I love them. I think and they're very melodic. Yeah, romantic and they melodic. are. And America should be ashamed of themselves by pouring that wine down the street. God damn it! I can pour it down my <laughs> mouth. Damn it! Don't naughty people. They really are the yeah. French fries. You know, silly silliness. You know what I mean? But hey, you know, say, talking about silliness, your oh, acting God. class is not silliness. You know, those kids take chances, but you bring things out of these kids. Tell me about that. Um, about this, let's see. Well, what I want them to do, in which is lost in everything I right. think in this business, is we're always working for someone else. I want you to like me. I want my work to be good. I want. But the one thing that gets lost very often is yourself, is your sense of self sense, and sense of right, who you are. Right. That's what's so magnificent about you, Skippy, on stage. We want that. <laughs> we merge that into the character, <laughs> and that's the unique creation. <laughs> and that's the thing that you try to, in a class, is that it, I'm in class now, and that keeps me acting when I get jobs. I get many more jobs right. when I'm studying. And the same thing with this. They don't have this for kids, where it's a place where they can explore who they are, embrace who they are, right. and somehow get that in the parts so that they stand out. Most There's of your kids only, are you working know. kids. These yeah. are not just. Well, uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf is the star on. Um, uh, he has his own series on Disney. Right. Called uh, Oh gosh, he's going to kill me. I forgot That's what okay. It was called. But you, you, these kids. <laughs> I don't are watch. These, I don't watch the kids. These shows. kids are. Yeah, and he's working. on ER. There's another right. kid who's on Daddy Daycare. And you did Mississippi. <laughs> something about. Uh, uh, I worked with Joshua Logan. Right. In New York City. It was his final Broadway show uh -huh. that he was working on, and I played Huck. It was Huck. a. Uh -huh. The lead role, and when I first the moved to New role? York, Ooh. yeah, Huck and Jim in the how Mississippi. Did, how, tell me, how did his apartment's amazing. Tell me about yourself. Really how did you feel about doing this lead role? Were you nervous? Uh, or were you excited? No, or what? when you're no? young, you're so ready to go. That's true, isn't it? It's Wait. like I'll take a risk. You know why I got that part? Yeah. I went into Josh Logan's. The audition was at his apartment, and the elevator doors opened up, and I was in this huge palace on top on Fifty Fourth Street. Right. And there was this book, and I thought it was the audition signing book. So right. I Jeff Allen Lee, 35 Fifth Avenue, New York, New uh -huh. York. And I looked over, and it said Ethel Merman. I was like, oh, my God, she's dead. How could she be auditioning? <laughs> so I signed this guest book. Right. But I think because I had the guts to do that. <laughs> I think that was the reason I got the part. That's great. It was very funny. You know, um, I worked with the Evely brothers, Phil and Don, in wow. Germany. Did you know that, you guys? I worked with them <coughs> in the 60s. And... Um, I worked in France when we had our bases in Paris before de Gaulle kicked us out of there. And, mm -hmm. and uh, then I worked uh, in Germany with him. And we worked in Germany together. Ron mm -hmm. Coleman, how are you? Oh, my vines, you me. This guy, I worked in Germany. We worked all over the world together. And he's been with the Evely brothers, Phil and Don, their lead guitar players. But, and he's been with them. You worked all, all over the world with them, Australia, well, everywhere, right? Well, no, we never went to Australia, but we did do all over I did Europe go to Australia. and England and Scotland right, right. and Canada and, and the United Canada. States. Canada, that is where you are from, Ron right. Coleman. Right, exactly. Growing Sars, up in I'm Ontario. I'm from Sars, Sars City, actually. Uh -huh. Toronto. I'm Toronto. only making a little thing there. Yeah, I know. We're going to stay away. But you haven't, been to, you haven't been to Canada lately. No, I wanted to go a couple of weeks ago, but I decided not to. We had a girl singer here I two weeks be. ago from Canada, and I told her she was going home to see her parents. I said, well, honey, you're not going to do the show, and, and then I'll wait for a month, and then I'll see you. Yeah. yeah. But she was great, though. She waited. I can't, get, I can't wait to get back there. I love and Ontario. I love great. Ontario. Yes, I worked yeah. there, too. I love it. You're going to play for me, Ron Coleman. What are you going to play for well, me? Well, a song uh, that uh, me and my friend Paul Ivey wrote. I love Paul Ivey. It's Ivy. called Shadows in the Moonlight. We get a lot of requests for it at Cafe Roma. Huh? We're at Cafe Monday Roma night. Monday <coughs> night. So tonight we're going to be there. <coughs> and uh, I love it there. It's fun, isn't it? Yep, it is. And Paul Ivey's great. Mm -hmm. And you're going to play? Uh, Shadows in the Moonlight. Perfect. Right okay. Shadows in the moonlight Feeling no pain Through deserts and the prairies The eighteen-wheeler rain You push her to the limit Right up to the end Shadows in the moonlight Heading home again Shadows in the moonlight Whispers in her ear She's putting up a good fight Holding 
back a cheer It's gonna be a cold night If he don't appear Shadows in the moonlight Nobody near With the fallen angel's eyes cried out She's hoping he won't be too late As the sunset falls on another day She pictures heaven's gate Shadows in the moonlight It's perfectly clear Everything would be alright If you were here once in a blue moon Somebody cares Shadows in the moonlight Nothing left to fear With the fallen angel's eyes cried out She's hoping he won't be too late As the sunset falls on another day She pictures heaven's gate Shadows in the moonlight Feeling no pain Through deserts and the prairies 18 wheeler rain He'll push her to the limit Right up to the end Shadows in the moonlight Heading home again Through deserts and the prairies 18 wheeler rain Heading home again Shadows in the moonlight Heading on home again Ron Combe and Tim Harmony, wonderful. You two are just great together. Thank you, Tim. You know something, Ron Coleman? Uh, growing up in Canada, fun? Yes, it was. It was fun. Oh, yes. I had a time in my life. Uh, Rocky. When I was a teenager. Yeah. What, Ro tell me about Rocky, the group you worked with. Rocky Burnett. Rocky Burnett. Yeah. Oh. Rocky and I wrote songs for several years. Uh, more than I want to mention right now. Uh, right. And uh, he had a hit called Tired of Toe in the Line. Right. And uh, I was lucky enough to co-write it with him. Uh -huh. And had, uh, I believe, eight songs on that first album. On the album? And the same on the second album. Uh -huh. How did. many albums do you have out? I have none. You haven't? No, I have really? no albums out. No, I'm not there yet. Oh, but yeah. you're such a great, great guitar player. Have yeah. you seen Phil and Don lately? No, I haven't, no. actually. Uh -uh. Are they, they're still around. Oh, they're, they're still doing it. They're I think they're in Nashville. They're or in Nashville. They're in Nashville, yeah. yeah. I think Phil has moved there. Phil, Phil has moved there? I think he has, yes. He left from North Hollywood. Well, I think he still, he, still he still has his place over there. I still think he still has his place. I love Don. But Don and I was my best. Don. Oh, yeah, Don's a great Don. guy. Yeah, they're Everybody. both great guys, but yeah. Don and I... Uh, did uh, did a lot of stuff Don's together more, after they broke up. Don is more fun and more relaxed than Phil. Well, I guess I, I knew Don better. You know, See, oh, Don was too. a lot more relaxed yeah. on the road. Yeah, I he was too. a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Phil we, stayed to himself a lot, but it's it's only because uh -huh. you know he wanted yeah, to, and right. and Don was always doing something. They were always the tracking best, down the best food and the best wine, the best. The best, ladies and gentlemen, the best. T two boys that pure voices oh, yeah. in America. The best ever, the Everly Brothers. Yeah. Please buy their albums, listen to it. If you haven't heard them lately, young kids out there, 
Listen to the Evely brothers. Simple as that. They right. are just pure voices. Yeah. Holland loves them. I know that. Yeah, in absolutely. Amsterdam, mm -hmm. all over the world, the Evely brothers. Yeah. You grew. You didn't grow up with no, them. I no, you're not familiar up. with them, right? I feel like I was on the because plane, you're riding young. A horse and you guys were because you're young. You know, you're young. Hey. And the young. Uh, you, Skippy. Now your classes are in. North Hollywood yeah, and the, Lancashire? Yeah, the NoHo Actors Studio, Magnolia and Lancashire. Uh -huh. It's above a pizza place. You know, there's it's a, a real artsy ingredient. But problem. it's great it's up nice there. Yeah. I know that place. Yeah. Yeah. It's upstairs. Yeah. It's I a great it. little theater. I was there th uh, this weekend to see a play. Yeah, and there's a big festival this weekend with free theater all through the city. Is it really? In NoHo. The theater is good here in, in, yeah. in the Valley. People yeah. put the Valley down. They shouldn't no, do that. No, no. The Valley's we gotta, fun. We gotta, you got to have a place to work. We actors need that. I mean, there's so much TV and this. We need a place to roll our sleeves up. We need a place to produce. We need a place uh -huh. to act. And I want kids to have that too because they don't. They just think. It, and the parents are into it. They want them to be little starlets. And it's it's also about what they do, the work, and that's what's going to give them right. longevity. Right. So the passion. acting, your acting technique is Jeff. Uh, Mm -hmm. Jeffrey's song, oh, yeah. mixed it's along a, with the actor's studio. Yeah, and and Stanislavski. I was fascinated by the technique. Uh -huh. And my very first job was a recluse who was in his own world, who was trying to escape his reality. And I got the part like that. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the power of great training. And I've seen what it does for the kids and what it does for me and other actors. Have you done any you acting, know? Tim, since you've been here in Hollywood? Uh, well, as a musician, I guess uh, that's, that's, so, that's Is that what you mean? It's, now, tell me about your trip. The world's championship of the harmonica. Yeah. You, you gave me a medal. Yeah. I, that wor world. Yeah, I got tell two, me why. Two, uh, two medals, yes. two gold medals. And you came up to me and he said, Skippy, I want you to have this. That was very touching. You yeah, know well, that? I had two, so, you know. I'm, you gave hey, that. I'm, that I'm a Dutchman, very, you know. <laughs> tell me about that organization you won from, that world. It was the, the world, world Championship, yeah. It's the of singers? Or champ of musicians? Championship of Performing, performing Arts. Performing Arts, That's yes. what it was. And so, has it helped you, uh, you think? Honestly speaking, not yet. Not so yet. So far. Uh -huh. So far. I've, I've met a lot of people, and a lot more people know me now, uh -huh. which is Are important. you having a good time here in America? Yeah, I love the do beach. Do you go back to like, Europe like a lot? Neighbor. Do you go back to Europe at all? I, I do a lot, because uh, I was number one call in a lot of studios, so uh -huh. uh, I still got work from that. But here it's, you know, getting more interesting all the time, so, uh -huh. you know, I divide my time between uh -huh. Europe and the States. But I am very much into this country. Uh, I have a fiancé in this country who's oh, from Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, someone has a fiancé in this country. So Ron I. Coleman, you too, huh? Tell mm -hmm. me what you're going to sing for us right now. Well, I would like to sing a song that my friend uh, Steve uh, Romero and I wrote. Steve, okay. Steve died, and, uh, and Wayne Durham is uh, one of the writers on this song. And it's a song about a guy, the girl sang before a song about broken hearts. Uh -huh. This one is about a shattered heart. Okay. You can't fix them. And, uh, and so what do you think of Terry Reed the other night when, uh, when, down at the Cafe Roma? Terry, Terry Reed. Reed. He's one of the best singers I've ever heard Wonderful in my singer. life. Wonderful singer. He's at the joint every Monday night in the corner, Pico and Robertson with Waddy Wop. Ah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, he's good. Say he don't look all that bad for the shape he's in. And she don't look all that sad. Like everybody knows she's been. He could write a brand new song. been all that long since I've seen his baby cry. And he could fall to pieces in the blink of an eye at the mention of her name. Now 
He can paint a rainbow With the tears in his eyes Even the best days he gave Never good enough for her He'd have given her the airy breeze If he only could When just a little smile And a little tenderness Was all he'd ever need Now he can paint a rainbow With the tears in his eyes With the tears in his eyes I like the tears in his eyes. That's great, Ron. That's really good. You wrote that? With Steve Romero and uh, Wayne Durham. Ah, it's a great song. It really yeah. is. It's a great Beautiful. song, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, nice and easy. Tim. Yes. That harmonica. Yeah. It is one of my favorite instruments. It banjo. Is. I don't know. Banjo mm -hmm. and harmonica. Yeah. It's so simple. It's it is. To the point. It's very simple. It's very. And That's it's the charm of the instrument. That's, that's the word, charm. Yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah, I do And too. it's harmony. That's why I'm called Tim Harmony. Tim Harmony. That's a great Harmonica. combination. Yeah. 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 Are you having a good time, you say, here in America? Yeah, yeah? absolutely. I do. Mm -hmm. Do you have lots well, of great talent in this country? What would city. you like to do? What would you like to uh, say, well, say I've five been, years from now? What would you like to see yourself? Uh, in five years from now? Yeah, five years. What would you like well, to see? Well, uh, not that far away as five years, but uh, five days. Five uh, years would, would, is a long way. Oh, it Go is. ahead. Well, you know, we record all over the world uh -huh. with all the best musicians uh -huh. and play concerts all over the world. So that is important uh, for you, right? Spreading the love and harmony all around. Uh -huh. Because you're a very spiritual, loving human being. I, I see am. it because you came and gave me that medal, yeah. and you gave other people charm and loving. Well, people love Tim Harmony. I yes. Am I right? Yes, I do. They just love you. Everywhere they go, they, ch oh. the champion of the world. As a, I want to see one thing right now. I love you to play that simple song. What was that song you're going to play? Uh, well, I got some Stevie Wonder. Right now. Right now. Come Beautiful. On. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let me hear the music. Go ahead. Mashiri amor. Go ahead. <laughs> 